My name is Haas Booty and I represent a company called Burnaby Manufacturing. Burnaby manufactures a product that is designed to hook out outdoor appliances up to house piping. And that would be barbecues, tiki torches, patio heaters and the likes of that. Uh, the product that I'm going to demonstrate today is a recessed one. We have several models of the gas plug and that gas plug is uh, either surface mounted or recess mounted. This particular one is for recess mounted, mostly new construction. You first receive the packaging. You'll want to make sure that there's no damage on the product inside. You'll see two separate items as well as the instructions. This bag comes complete with the door, the label, and the screws to mount the door. And the reason this is done is so that it's kept separately in the person's installation truck, doesn't get damaged, and because the rough-in box is put in first, and then this is put on after the siding finish is done. So it gives that, uh, gives that person, they don't have to keep the big box, it's already packaged for them. The rough-in box is a fire-rated ABS box and it's designed to be either entered in the top or the back. Now this shows the, the box and the door already mounted, but the door and frame is put on, like I said, after the, inst after the wall finish is done. You'll see in the demonstration tape how that's done later. But basically the box is roughed in. You enter the box either from the back or the bottom. The assembly is installed. The assembly is installed, pressure tested, and then we have a label that goes over top and then you'll leave it at that point for the siding to be finished. And this keeps all the debris and all the crap that uh, maybe if it's stucco or if it's siding, keeps it out of the box, keeps the assembly clean, and then you can come along later and just cut that label out and mount your door on your frame and you'll put a little bit of caulking on the top if necessary. Now you'll notice that the door has a smaller door in it. And that's, that's designed so that you can hook up the appliance, leave the hose hooked up, and close the door. The recess model also comes with a key and a lock. So if you have a situation where you wanted to keep people out, could be a rental property, could be kids on the deck, you have a reason to lock it, you can lock this particular, it comes with two sets of keys. It's clearly identified as a gas outlet. Inside the box you'll see that there's a label identifying the maximum pressure that you can use in this outlet and the BTU capacity in natural gas. This particular one is 60,000 BTU. So the one safety feature is the manual valve needs to be turned off before you can disconnect. You can't hook up the appliance when it's open. The other safety feature is right into the side of this coupling assembly is a thermal valve. And that thermal valve is designed to, to shut the flow of gas off at 300 degrees or more. So if there's a mishap with one of your appliances, it'll shut off the flow automatically. We're having a look at the, the wall section in behind the sheeting where your installation is going to go. And there's a couple of important parts to remember. One is that you'll want to make sure that your uh, location on the outside doesn't hit one of your studs. So you need to be in the joy space somewhere, right? The other thing is when you're bringing your piping in from your main and you come in through any joy spaces or floor spaces, you'll need to make a hole at least two inches in diameter. And the reason for this is you want that pipe to be flexible. 
on the installation, you'll see on the other side, once we start to go to that part, where that comes in handy. Okay, that's basically all you need to know, other than the fact that you can come in from the top, or you can come into the back on these outlets. We've seen in the, uh, on the back side, there's two ways of coming into the box. One is from the back and one is from the top. And you can use either one if you're piping in from the box to the main. If you're piping in from the main to the box, I would recommend using this one, which comes in from the top. There's one less fitting to turn. It's easier to fit in the box and uh, it's just a more desirable. This one you're going to struggle with if you come into the back and uh, try to pipe from the main to here. So once you've got this installed, located, you've got it, and now you're going to do a, a pressure test on it, make sure everything's tight. You've got this on the outside, rough in. Now you're going to have to get some peel and stick or something along those lines, depending on what your engineer or architect calls for, to put over the flange for weatherproofing. Okay, now your building envelope people will tell you what you're required to do on each individual building and most of the time that peel and stick is available on site because they're using it constantly on windows and all types of other things. And once you've done with the peel and stick, then you're going to take the label that comes with the product and you're going to put that label over top of the rough-in box. And what that does is it keeps the debris of the siding people or the stucco people out of the box until you're ready to mount it. And this is what you have when you're done. When the stucco is finished, this may not look as clean, but it'll keep everything out of the box. At that point, you've got your pouch with the door and the screws in your truck, and you're going to install, you're going to cut the, you're going to cut the warning tape Sorry, the, uh, the uh, protective cover with an X-Acto knife. Now you're ready to mount the frame and door. Now there's a gasket on the back side of the frame that squeezes up against the stucco or whatever you have for a finish. And that's sufficient for most installations if it's not in direct weather. If it's in direct weather, I would continue, I would at this point take a, a bead of caulking along here and along three quarters of the side as well if it's in direct weather. And there you have it. It's as easy as that.